After numerous trips to several Latin American destinations and a few U.S. cities in between, our family packed the bags for two back-to-back -back adventures in the Bahamas, starting with five nights in a private home just steps away from Pink Sands Beach. As a family of five, we like to minimize travel time, but by all accounts, it's virtually impossible to go straight from Denver to Harbor Island in a single day. So we travel hacked our way into a direct morning flight from Denver to Nassau, where we just had to figure out how to make the 55 mile jump between multiple islands, the last of which has no airstrip at all. Okay, so we're gonna need to get from Nassau to Harbor Island. And we couldn't take a commercial flight because they all leave before our flight lands. And we couldn't take the ferry because that leaves before our flight lands. And I looked into speedboats and the prices were astronomical. The cheapest I could find was over $4,000. And then I even looked into a seaplane, which would have been really cool, but again, it was more than I wanted to spend. So we decided to, we chartered a plane. It was surprisingly affordable. It was the best option for us. It's only $200 per person and we're gonna be there in 20 minutes. It's a Piper Aztec, just the five of us. We're going straight to the island. Well, right on the side of the seats. All right, come on up. You can sit back. Guess who the pilot and co-pilot are? I get to fly. But to get us the rest of the way to Harbor Island, where there are no cars and no airports, we're going to take something a little bit lower key. We're going to take a little boat just across the water, get there like this way. So, like Phil said, there are no cars on Harbor Island, so we are waiting for our go- <laughs> Most of them are golf carts, but still. Okay, so I was wrong. There are cars on Harbor Island. I still think we're waiting for a golf cart, but a taxi of some sort. It's probably a limousine. <laughs> <laughs>
1951, their signature restaurant. Thank you. All right, babe, what do you think you're gonna get? I'm gonna get the grouper because it sounds delish and when we got onto the island, that's what he said to get. He's like, the grouper's amazing. Not at this place, but just on the island. He said grouper was the way to go. Oh, you got the inside scoop. Inside scoop on the group. <laughs> so it's grouper a la plancha. Sauteed greens, jasmine rice, salsa verde. Oh my God. Herb salad and garlic butter. Damn, Damn. that sounds good. Also cocktails, rum, yeah. coconut rum, again. That was the recommendation when I said, what's the drink to drink here? He said, eh, anything, but try the coconut rum. Done. Well, I am going to get the Island Curry Seafood Soup. I love all those things. So tired. It's been a long travel day. We're looking forward to getting back to our place and just settling in. That's right. That was delicious, but we are going to bed and then we're gonna show you around our cottage and the resort tomorrow. And by the way, if you're ever here, like the coconut rum was a fantastic suggestion. Like, I, I could- he had 20. That's, that's double what I actually had. 10? No, but that was really good. This is not, we're not talking about Malibu rum. Like this was, no. the, this was super authentic. I don't even know sugar what it cane. was. It, you could taste the sugar cane in it. Yeah, sugar cane is probably like infused with the coconut, like literally probably soaked with coconut. It wasn't like coconut oil or juice or anything like that. It was fantastic. One of the most incredible, just like spirits I've ever had. It was awesome, you gotta try it. It was really good. It tastes good. You thought it was good? It was delish. This is Lime House, our Inspirado Beach House in the Pink Sands Resort on Harbor Island in the Bahamas. So we get a full bar and we get ice brought in every day. So that's great because you need a lot of water in the Bahamas. It's very humid. And we have an albeit very small but fully functional kitchen. If you saw our Banyan Tree Mayakoba episode, we had a very similar setup for the kitchen. Uh, this is a oven and our two top stove big country sink, and then this is actually a water heater for tea and Nespresso. I love Nespresso, so this is perfect for me. And of course, the big fridge. I love this natural edge dining table. We actually have something similar in our Coronado home. Well, let me show you the master. This bed is so comfy, it's hard to get out of bed, and that is atypical for us because we are very early risers, but not in the Bahamas. TV and dresser in there. Also, a nice size closet, more dresser space. But this bathroom is super fun because it's not just a five-piece bath. It's more than a five-piece bath. It is a, I'm gonna take a shower, but I'm also gonna take an outdoor shower Peace bath, and it's been perfect for us as a family of five because one of our kids, our dirtiest kid, it's cold, always takes his showers outdoor. <laughs> and it's great for everybody coming in from the beach with all that sand, nice and clean. Let's go to the other very similar room because this is a two bedroom beach cottage. And here we are, this is where our girls have been sleeping and they have just as big of a bedroom. Of course, giant TV, that's a much bigger TV than ours to be honest. And their bathroom is very, very similar, but their outdoor shower is here and their regular shower is right here. And very easy access to the outdoors. Here I am. I love this outdoor space because it's more than just a little splash pool. We kind of have our own little forest here. And I'll tell you, in the morning, we have a rooster that comes. <laughs> we have many friends 
lizards in the day, frogs at night, lots of friends around here. So eight person dining table out here, it's fantastic in the morning. This is where we all spend our mornings and have our breakfast. And the pool, perfect temperature, great place to cool off and it's really nice at nighttime after you've been at the beach all day and you just wanna have a little extra fun and extend your day, jump in the pool at night. Play Marco Polo. Super clear how much privacy we have because we don't just have this little forest, we have a lot of greeneries making walls and it's really a big property for a cute little beach cottage. As much fun as we have spending time here, we're gonna go to the beach. We need a few supplies like sunblock. So I'm gonna head off to the local store, pick some up. First, I've gotta stop by the uh, front desk and find out where the local store is. This is one of the nice things about these Inspirado trips though, is whenever we call ahead, we can tell them what groceries or supplies we need to have in our house and they'll have everything stocked when we get here. But this whole sunblock thing is kind of new. We just realized that we can't really get enough sunblock into our carry-on because it's too much liquid. And we're trying to get into the habit of asking them to supply that one ahead of time. But for now, I gotta run down and get some. Okay, she said most stores are closed on Sundays here, but I'm still gonna hit an ATM. Uh, interesting thing I have to keep in mind when driving here in these golf carts is that you've gotta keep left. They drive on the left side of the road, unlike in the United States, so it's hard to get used to. Okay, got that taken care of, cash in hand, so now we can tip people again, which is always nice. Even though most of the shops are closed because it's Sunday, uh, I found my way down to another resort that looks like it has a boutique shop that would let us maybe buy some sunblock. This will be key since we're gonna be out in the sun all day. But as I got down here, I realized it was right next to the marina. So I figured to come down and take a quick look at some of the yachts. Okay, let's go shop. I'm lucky enough to find a shop that's open, so now that I've got some sunblock for the fam, I can head back and we can take the very short walk from our cottage to the Pink Sands Beach. I'm excited to see the Pink Sands. Break from the beach to grab some lunch, and it's a gorgeous view. 
because this restaurant's up a little bit higher and you can see from Marine Miles. Okay, so we have this coconut and this coconut. This one has coconut milk in it. That has coconut milk in it? Yep. And this one also does, but it's really heavy because it has more water in it and it's filled up all the way to the rim and it, it can't be filled up anymore or else it would probably explode. So you can't hear it. Such a great beach day. Also long beach day. We've been here for hours. We are ready to head back and you'll see how close we are to the beach. Lockwoods, a family of five with five careers, three schools, and infinite passion for adventure. So we redesigned our business and studies around a lifestyle of freedom and world travel. Join us on our journey.